Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to add mods to a Minecraft server. But I'm assuming you've already got a Forge server set up. If you don't, no worries. There's a link in the description down below as well as the eye at the top of your screen on how to make a Forge server. It goes over every single step of getting Forge downloaded, installed, and set up for Minecraft 1.16.3 on a Minecraft server. So it's going to go over every single step of doing that. And then once you've got that set up, you can come back to this tutorial and I'll show you how to install the mods on that server and then play on that server with those mods. So I'm going to be covering the part of getting the mods in this video, but the part of making the server is in another video because... I mean, the video would be like 40 minutes long if I put them together. So I always separate these two videos into two separate videos. That way you can, uh, you know, kind of get the server started and then learn how to install mods in this video. So go check that out. I'm waiting. Go check it out. You need to get that set up. You, you need to have a Forge server. This will not work if you do not have a Forge server. So you need to go get a Forge server set up. You can move your world over from a vanilla server. Yes. Okay. Just, just take the world folder and, and drag and drop it over into your modded server. So that's not a problem. You just need to have a Forge server for this to work. You good? Awesome. Thank you so much for doing that. But you might still want to host a server with someone else. It can be difficult hosting a server yourself, especially modded servers that require a decent amount of hardware to be able to run. So why not let someone else do that? Like Apex Minecraft Hosting, who is the incredible sponsor of this video. You can check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. You get an incredible 24-hour DNOS affected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, running Forge with mods very quickly, very easily, all managed through Apex Minecraft Hosting, you can check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. Nevertheless, once you do have your Forge server up, let's go ahead and get mods on it. Now the first thing we need to do is obviously come here and get some mods. Now in this video we're going to be installing World Edit, how, what, here's what I'm looking at, and Xero's minimap. All three of those are awesome mods and are great for servers, but there are more out there. We do have a link in the description down below of five amazing mods for 1.16.3 that you could add to your server and make it even better. Like Security Craft is a great server based mod. But nevertheless, I'm going to be installing these three in these video in this video, but any mod will install the exact same way. Yeah, you heard that right. They're all going to install the exact same way in the exact same fashion. Just drag them into the same folders that we're going to be dragging them into here, and you won't have any problems. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and download World Edit. You can find the link to these three mods in the description down below. Just scroll down here, click on the Download World Edit button. Come over here to the right-hand side, scroll down, make sure that we have the Forge version for 1.16.3. We do. Let's click that purple Download button, and it will take us off where the download will begin in just a few seconds. Awesome stuff there. You will probably need to keep or save any mod that you download in the bottom left on Google Chrome and in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. Here's what you're looking at. Same thing. Link in the description down below. Come over to the right-hand side. And actually, the 1.16.2 version of this mod is 1.16.3 compatible. That's something you will need to test and check for because 1.16.3 was such a little update. A lot of the times, it's uh, automatically compatible. Even if it doesn't say it's compatible, a lot of times it is. And then last but not least is Xero's minimap. We can scroll down, click on that yellow download button, and then come over here to the right-hand side and click on the download button there. Forge for 1.16.3, boom, and it will go ahead and start after just a few seconds. So yeah, that's that. We've got our three mods downloaded. Now, obviously, Xero's minimap is a great minimap mod. Here's what you're looking at. It allows you to see what's on screen, and then World Edit is, well, World Edit allows you to, you know, copy and paste things and do all the schematics and all that awesome stuff. It's very, very known for plugins on servers, but the mod is pretty awesome as well. So we can go ahead and minimize the browser. And here on our desktop, it seems like I'm missing a mod. Did I not keep one of the mods? Let's see. Yes, I didn't keep one. There we go. Sorry. Xero's mini map was never kept. But now we go ahead and look here. We've got World Edit, we've got Fabric, and we've got Xero's mini map. And we've also got our Forge server already set up conveniently there on the desktop. Now, if these three mods are on your desktop, they're going to be in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icon to the top left of my screen, probably the bottom of your screen. But click on that little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen. And then go ahead and type in downloads. Now, the downloads file folder in Windows. Click on that, and you'll find your mods here. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Now, let's go ahead and start mods in your server. To do that, you want to open up your Forge Forge server main directory file here. It's going to be basically the main place where all of your Forge server files are. Your jar, your you know run.bat file, your server properties, where that's at. In here, you'll have a mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder, you don't have a Forge server, you need to go start a Forge server. I know I keep harping back to that, but this will not work without a Forge server. So go get that set up, and then you'll have a mods folder. Go ahead and double click on that. And then you want to take any mods you want to install, highlight them on your desktop, right click on them, click copy, click on the mods folder, and click paste right? So boom, paste them right into there. You might be asking, why are we copying and pasting them instead of just dragging and dropping them? Well, the simple reason is that we need these again because we need to install them in Minecraft. 
I'm going to do that the old-fashioned way instead of opening up Minecraft and doing it that way. I've had some RAM issues on my computer recently, so because of that, we've had to decrease the amount of RAM we have, so I'm going to try to do stuff the old-fashioned way. It's not that difficult. Let's go ahead and click on the little Windows icon in the top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon, the top bottom left. You've already clicked on it once. Now we're going to go ahead and type in Run this time, though. So we're going to type in Run, and then we'll have this Run app. Click on that, and in here you'll want to type percent app data percent exactly like that. Boom, and hit enter. And then you'll have this folder open. Then you'll have .minecraft in here. Now in here you should have a mods folder, but if you don't have a mods folder, not a big deal. Just right click, create a new folder, and title that folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Go ahead and double click on that. And now drag and drop any mods you want to install, on your, all the mods that are installed on your server, into this mods folder. And here's the downside of modded servers. Your friends also need to have every single mod on your server installed locally in Minecraft like that. That is why we have our Forge tutorial linked in the description below. Take them here, have them go through this tutorial. It's helped over a million people get Forge. Thank you so, so much for that. And it will allow them to get Forge themselves and then install the mods and be able to play on your server. So everyone who plays on your server must have the mods installed locally as well. Kind of the downside of Forge servers, like I said, but it is what it is. Now we're going to go ahead and be able to open up Minecraft, right? So we're going to go ahead and open up Minecraft and launch right on in. We're also going to be able to open up Forge, or open up our server, rather, and be good. But we do want to make sure that we are playing with Forge here. As you can see, we have the Forge profile selected. It says 1.16.3 dash Forge under it. So we're going to go ahead and click play. I'm also going to go ahead and open our server. Now we'll see you after a quick jump cut once the server is open and once for Minecraft is open. So I had a little mistake here. As you'll see, we have the fabric mod for here's what I'm looking at. Obviously, that's not going to work. So what we're going to need to go ahead and do is close that we're going to open our mods folder here close out of this stop our server over here right like so boom go ahead and stop that and we have we can just confirm the fabric mod for here's what i'm looking at let's go back to the download page right like so and then we want to click on the files tab and then in here we'll be able to find the forge version so right down here we have forge click on that and that's where you got to be careful everybody you can't just click that download button like i did even in the tutorial i messed up so i wanted to point that out i like to be open about my mistakes there go ahead and keep that now that we've got the forge version we want to delete the fabric version from our from our local right this is the dot minecraft folder here so mods in there we want to go ahead and drag and drop here's what i'm looking like forge right there and then we want to go ahead and open up the server do the same thing here as well we want to go into the mods tab delete the fabric version of the mod and install the forge version of the mod onto the server boom now we can go ahead and start the server, right like so, by double clicking on the run.bat. I'm going to go ahead and open up Minecraft with Forge as well, and I will see you after a very fast jump cut. So let's go ahead, boom, Minecraft with Forge, see you after a quick jump cut. So there we go, we do have our server open. Now it does say that X0's minimap is out of date. It's not, we're good, so we can go ahead and just say don't show me again on that. And now we can go ahead and click on multiplayer again. Now we're going to go ahead and direct connect to our local IP address just because this is a local server. You see us join in right over here on the left hand side. Boom. There we go. Joining on in right now. And now once we're in game, we'll be able to see all of these mods up and working. So we've got Xero's minimap in the top left up there. Here's what I'm looking at. We're looking at snow. We're looking at grass. We are looking at everything. But as you can see, the minimap is up in the top left. We can hit, I believe it's I to zoom in. Yep. I to zoom in there. O to zoom out. Then we can hit U to go ahead and put a waypoint. So I believe this is like right around spawn. So let's go ahead and make that the spawn waypoint. Right like so. Boom. Looking good. We can edit waypoints by hitting U again. Come in here and then go into, is it options on that? Or how do you edit a waypoint? It's been a while. Oh, add slash edit. And then we can change this to, for example, a purple. Yes. Confirm. Done. And there we go. Now the spawn is purple. Um, you can obviously see that through blocks and from far away and all that stuff. But nevertheless, there is that. And there's one more mod that we need to look at, and that's going to be World Edit. To do that, we're going to be Op. So let's go ahead and Op ourselves. Op Nick King. Boom. And I'm already an operator. We can do slash slash one. Get our World Edit one. And let's go ahead and turn all of this snow to gold. So slash slash replace. Boom. Snow with gold block. Boom. There we go. Now we can go ahead and do something like this. This is always fun. Do you want to encase a house in diamond or dirt? Let's do dirt. <laughs> Why not? So to do that, we would obviously come over here, right, like so. And we'll just click right here. And then we'll go ahead and go into creative because we need to fly. So boom. Fly on up to right here. Right like so. And then fly up a bit. And then this is going to be slash slash position two. And then we want to replace the air. So slash slash replace air with dirt. Boom. <laughs> and now that house is all encased in dirt, even into the interior, right? There is not going to be a single place that is not dirt. 
<laughs> awesome stuff there. There you have it. All the barrels around that is encased in dirt. But yeah, there you have it. That is how you can uh, install mods on your server. It's pretty simple, pretty easy, and pretty quick to do. Um, we've got X0's minimap. We've got here's what I'm looking at. And we do have the world edit mod as well. If you do have any questions, let us know in the comments section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It helps you out. And subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. Thank you all so, so much for all the support. It really does mean the world to us. So thank you for that. But nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. And I am out. Peace.